You've all heard of Isaac Newton, the famous physicist who discovered the laws of gravity and motion. But did you know about his distant relative, the lesser known Newton, a woman whose discoveries have shaped our understanding of climate change today? Eunice Newton Foote was a scientist who discovered the ability of certain gases to retain heat, what we now know as the greenhouse effect. She was born on July 17, 1819. Growing up in New York, she would have been exposed to activists of many kinds. She attended what is now the Emma Willard School. Willard was a pioneer in women's education and taught her students traditionally male subjects like maths and science. Through the adjacent research university, the basis was laid for her own experiments. Foote wasn't just a scientist, she was also an activist, supporting the fight for women's rights. She was friends with suffragist Elizabeth Cady Stanton and attended the first women's rights convention. In 1856, likely a response to a scientific American volume which discussed how the sun heats the earth, Foote conducted an experiment. She pumped air out of one glass cylinder to another and waited for the temperature to equalise. She then placed both in the sun and recorded the temperature, finding that carbon dioxide heated up the most and retained heat for the longest. We are becoming increasingly aware of the importance of Foote's discovery. She concluded that an atmosphere of CO2 would increase the Earth's temperature, which is exactly what is happening. An increase in greenhouse gases has led to a rapid increase in global temperature, which has in turn led to extreme weather events, rising sea levels and destruction of our natural world. Because of foot, we know what is causing this. Although global warming is a pertinent issue, we rarely hear about Foote's work. This is because until the 20th century, the discovery was attributed to John Tyndall, and her work was only rediscovered relatively recently. However, she certainly deserves some credit. Not only did she make an incredibly important discovery, but she was also an amateur, not to mention a woman in the 19th century.